guys, welcome back to another tutorial. We're just gonna jump straight into it. First thing that you wanna do is prime your eyelids. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. And I'm also going in with the My Revolution Forever Flawless Into the Night Palette. The first shade that I'm going to be using is this one right here called Gothic. And I'm going to be putting it in the inner and the outer corner of my eyes as I'm going to be creating a halo eye. I always like to pack the product onto my eyelid first um, to build up the pigment payout and then I like to blend afterwards so you can see me doing that here and I do it on both eyes. What is this sun doing? It keeps going in and out. I can't control the lighting so I do apologise. But the next shade that I'm going to be going in with is Vanish which is this shade right here. I'm just going to be blending it above the black eyeshadow that I've applied. So the next shade that I'm going to be using on my eyes is Aura. I think it's pronounced, I don't have a clue to be fair. Um, but it's this light grey shade here, it's the lightest grey that's in the palette. I absolutely love this palette by the way, it's so good. Now this is the fun bit, I get to add shimmer. So for the centre of my eye I'm going to be using Vamp which is this shade right here. I'm going to be piling a few different shimmers in the middle of it to really make it pop. I honestly can't wait to put this on my eye. So this is Fia, it's a really nice silver shade. Finally, for the eyes, I'm going to with Ghost on top of that gorgeous silver. So. This is absolutely unbelievable as well. I just love every single shade in the palette, I think. But this is going to add, oh God, I'm blinding myself. This is going to add some highlight so that my eyes don't look so flat. And we literally want it like just in the center of our eye. I'm gonna quickly do my base and then when I come back, we'll get the fun stuff. So I'm just going to head and done the rest of my makeup. If anybody would like a base routine, then please just let me know in the comments and I'll easily do that for you. I'm going to be doing the spider now. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to trace out your spider. I'm going to do that now and I'll just like quickly speed it so it's easier for you to watch. So what you're going to want for this section of the video is some black snazaru face paint and some white snazaru face paint and also some black eyeshadow for the shading. You could use any other face paint that's water activated. Snazaru is quite affordable and it's very pigmented for the price as well so that's why I'm recommending these two. Um, so yeah, we're just going to follow the trace with our black face paint and a really thin paintbrush. You could use an eyeshadow brush as well if you've got like a really thin eyeshadow brush and you don't have a paintbrush, you could always use that. Now I'm taking the white snazz and I'm going to add some highlights on the legs to make it look more realistic. Going back into the Forever Flawless Into the Night palette, I'm going to be picking up the black eyeshadow and then we're going to be doing some shading underneath and then this is when the look is really going to come together. really simple illusion look anyone can do this you just have to have the patience and the time and to be fair it doesn't really take that long if you've tried it please let me know in the comments i'd love to see 
photos of you recreating it and stuff as you could wear this with anything you could have your hair slicked back a nice little black dress for halloween if you've enjoyed please don't forget to smash a big thumbs up so it'll help me out a lot and i'll see you all in my next video bye